Hello, this is Mr. Abamu Itano Brene. In this video, I'm going to show you this applet I designed using the GeoGebra Classic software. It's just a simple applet for finding area under a curve or area between two curves. Alright, so how do we do this? The applet is a simple one. You can see what I have here. You can impute your first function here. The function you want to find the area under it you can impute it here then another function can be imputed here. you can only do for two functions that's how i designed this applet you can't do more than two functions then the first function you impute it here second function you put it here then if you want to find the lower limit and the upper limit you can move on this slider so this for the lower limit this for the upper limit then for area under function one that means what if you impute in this box you can only use this checkbox to find the area under the function in this function one then for area under function two if you can impute here you can only use this checkbox to find the area then if you have two functions one and two you want to find the area between them or the area that is covered between the two functions you can use this area between function one and two to do that then other settings remain the same from the GeoGebra software if you want to set the axis you can use here just click on this you can use it to adjust the axis so this is two unit scale you can go down this is five units just click and drag down this is 20 units then click and drag up just like that the same thing you can do with the x axis if you want to increase reduce it so this is 0 0.2 unit then you reduce it so this is two units just like that five units so we are good to go let me just do a simple demonstration let me impute a function let's see all right let's say i have a function let me put a simple linear equation let's say 2x you tap your enter you can see it has already plotted for you so you want to get the area under this function so you just need to tap the area remember this is function one so you need to check function one here so you see no area is moved because i've not moved the lower and the upper so remember the lower and the upper limits here yeah? they are the area between the area under this x axis that's where you have to find it not on the y axis so if i move this let me assume i want the area to be from one to maybe four so i just need to move this slider you can see it's shading it for us so i said one so the lower limit is one then the area i want is for the upper limit so the upper limit i want it to get to four so you move you can see so that means i want the area to be from one to four so you can see it clearly as it goes you stop at four you can slide down just slide the graph down for you to view all the area so this is the result if you calculate the area of this shaded box it's supposed to give you 15 square units so that is the area under this curve so this is just a simple way to demonstrate this applet all right let me go back to zero i have few examples i will demonstrate using the applet so that in case you are in your classroom teaching or you are a student learning area under a curve or between curves you can actually use this applet to check your result and to understand the area very well so i'll type it out in my microsoft word so this is the first question area under and between curves so you say determine the area enclosed by y equals to 2x plus 3 on the x axis now and the ordinate should be x equals to 1 and x equals to 4 you know to find the area under a curve you just need to integrate the function so y equals to 2x plus 3 so just integrate 2x plus 3 so i've given you the steps of the integration you see the area will be 24 square units so if you integrate it between 1 and 4 then substitute the upper limit 4 in the position of place of x minus the lower limit 1 in position of x if you calculate it well you will see that your answer is 24 so if i impute this 2x plus 3 in my applet 
so 2x plus 3 enter lower limit we said to be 1 so just move first of all tap on this so that you see the area as it's moving 1 the upper limit is 4 so you move to 4 you can view it well so that you can see it clearly so 4 so this is the area you can see the result is 24 so that is why the answer is 24 when you integrate it so let me use this to pull it down a little so that we can see the top just place it and drag down that means I need to use a two unit scale mm -hmm. so this is the area at least by doing this the student can actually see the area you actually calculate you can see that this area is actually a trapezium so they can actually calculate this area without even using integration to do it just like this all right so this is a simple one let me try another one let's go to second question i have here so this is second question i've also done the calculation with integration so you just say you should sketch the graph of this is a polynomial of third power that is x to the power 3 plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 then we should integrate it between x equals to minus 3 to x equals to 2 so to do this you know you need to factorize this polynomial or during sketching you can get the three points that is the three values of x so if i sketch it on the graph you can actually see the three values of x or if you solve this polynomial by factorizing and solve it you will see the three values of x all right so let's see how to do that so if you just impute this one in the function position let me delete this we said x, you can see you can use your keyboard of GeoGebra to put it x cubed. Now say plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Alright, so let me close this one. Let me return this to 0. Let's take this to 0. So you can see it so this is the sketch so between minus 3 to 2 so if i want to make it wider a little i can do on this i can bring this down a little okay then you slide the screen so you can see minus 3 to 2 so we want to get the area so this is the area enclosed by this curve so by sketching it so this is the sketch we're actually looking for that means the curve passes through minus three minus one and two then we are looking for this area plus this area so how do you calculate the area on top of this plus this area on that here so to do that if you have to solve it with your integration very easy since the graph crosses from minus 3 to minus 1 so minus 3 to minus 1 so integrate between this level then minus 1 to 2 integrate between those two levels so that is what I've done here so from minus 3 lower minus 1 upper you integrate this which is this minus this when you put your upper and your lower which is minus 1 and minus 3 then the second part again which is from minus 1 to 2 if you integrate this, this is the result. So you are integrating from minus 1 to 2. Then you can see that it's subtraction. So we subtract the area under, which is this one under, subtract it from the area on top. So that means integration of the top minus integration of down. So integrate this function for the top between minus 3 and minus 1, minus you integrate this area under between minus 1 and 2 so that is what I've done here following these various steps of integration careful calculation the answer gave us 21.833 just like that square unit so if I want to do that in my applet I just design all I need to do I've already input the function in function 1 click on area under function 1 then start from minus 3 take this to minus 3 
you can see then this should be minus 1 so you take note of this area which is 5.33 so you are going to add 5.33 to the area under here so that's how you get it and you remember in integration any area below the x-axis which is negative side of the x-axis is going to be a negative area but we ignore the negative and turn it to positive when we add it to this that is how you get your result so if i do that now so you take note of this 5.33 you are going to add it to then you now move the lower now back to minus one then move the upper down to two and see how you have shaded it so this is the other area so 5.33 plus so ignore the negative that's what i was talking about it's negative because the area is under the x-axis so you ignore the negative so it will be 5.33 plus 15.75 if you add it you will see your answer is going to be 21.08333 which is this result we got here so that is that so the aim of this applet is for you to view your area is very important because sometimes children when we solve in classroom we just calculate without actually showing them the area we are calculating some of them may be confused they should be able to view the area you are calculating just move your upper and the lower the area will be shown here so that they will see the area you are calculating you can even do it between minus 1 and 0 0.5 can see the area they have to cover and this is the result which will be positive 6.61 so that is this the last one i have for us before i go is the one on um, area between so let me show you the question also in my microsoft so if i move down to question three so this is another good one say so determine the area enclosed between the curves this y equals to x squared plus one and y equals to seven minus x so to do this number one you need to solve the two equations simultaneously so that you know where the two curves intersect very important point of intersection is very important because it is the point of intersection you are going to integrate between so in this case the two curves intersect at minus three and two so you integrate the curve that is on top minus the curve that is under between minus 3 and 2 then solve down you will get 20.83 as your result so how do you do this let me show you first so let's impute this in the two function boxes we have there so let me remove this so 7 minus x will be the one on top put it in function 1 then x square x square plus one is the second function so this is it so you can see the two functions so this is you can see the point of intersection has been given from the calculation which is a minus three is the first point for x then two is the second point so this one tells you that you are going to integrate between minus 3 to plus 2 that is why in my calculation you see the upper and the lower limit are 2 and minus 3 then x minus 7 is the linear graph so it's the one on top so the one on top is always positive then minus the one under will be negative to up minus down something like this the curve on top this is the straight line which is 7 minus x minus the curve under which is x squared plus one then the area we are looking for is this piece so you can't use this one it is this one you will use area between the function so if i move this one the lower move it to minus three so you watch the way it's been shading the curve you see it's shading it to this place minus three then the upper which is two have exceeded two supposed to stop here at two so you can see it stop at two so the area the answer is 20 20.83 so
So we can see to the area enclosed by this curve 7 minus x and this other curve x squared plus 1 is this shaded part here which is 20.3 and that's what I've done by careful calculation you see 20.83 is the same result so that is all I have for this applet it's a very nice applet if you use it in your classroom it will help your student and the teacher also to view the area where you have to calculate or the area under the curve you have to calculate it will make it easy for you to understand it and when you have to calculate you will easily see the space you have to find the area to do so that is all I have for us in this video so if you want to use this applet in your classroom you can see the link of getting it I put it in the description of the video just go to the description of this video click on the link and you get this applet and use it anytime you want in your classroom it's a very nice applet I just designed for us to use in our mathematics class so just move the upper and the lower limit you will see the area you have to calculate and that is all for now thank you so much for watching do have a nice day